what is up guys welcome back to another video and today i'm going to be talking about how much it cost me to get my four year uh, finance degree and uh, yeah i just gotta say how uh, college is expensive so this is obviously going to be different from everyone uh based on you know different uh, situations and things like that but i think this is a good start for everyone just in case you're you have a similar situation as mine or you have a different situation now you can compare the two situations and see if it's worth it so i've actually never looked at the total amount because i've always paid it off every semester this was actually my first time looking at the amount because i went ahead and uh, put it in microsoft excel and used the sum formula to kind of like get the total so i'm going to be switching over to that in a little bit so i can show you guys the details and uh, yeah i'm just going to sum it all up and i'll explain some of the charges that i have that might not make sense so i went to the university of texas at san antonio you see the hat yeah also known as a uh, utsa one of the biggest things that makes a difference in how much you pay for college is if you go to an in-state or out-of-state college so if you go in-state it's going to be cheaper if you go out of state it's going to be more expensive because they charge you out of state uh, fees and all of those um, charges so i went to uh, utsa which is in san antonio where i stay so it was actually in the same state so i didn't have to pay those extra charges so that kind of like lowered my tuition and also i spent four years in college so the first year i was living at home with my parents and then the next uh, two years which was my sophomore junior year i was actually working for the housing department as a resident assistant and if you don't know what that is i recommend you look it up because i recommend it for everyone because you know they were pretty much paying for my housing and they also paid for my food for those two years that i was working there and so i didn't have to pay a dime so they would charge me in my account and then um, the housing department would take care of uh, uh the housing and the food charges they'll pay those off and for my last year which was my senior year i actually moved off campus into uh, an apartment and uh, when you do the numbers living in an apartment paying rent actually costs you less than living in dorms where they charge you at the beginning of the year which is a lump sum amount so if you break that down by monthly you see that it is actually more expensive to live uh, in the dorms than it is to live off campus in an, in an apartment where you pay rent so that definitely saved me money and lowered the cost of college uh, for myself yeah so as you can see all those things that contributed to me actually paying less than what you're going to be seeing on here so now if you are in the same situation as me you can kind of like have a good comparison of how much it's going to cost you and uh yeah so we're going to go ahead and switch over to um the microsoft excel document that i have all right so as you can see i'm actually logged into the platform that we used to pay our tuition and as you can see on the right side here everything is actually paid for so i actually paid off everything open one of these here you're gonna see all the charges that they were charging <laughs> so i went ahead and exported um everything uh, in an excel format and i went ahead and put it in this microsoft excel uh, document here all right so without dragging this this is the amount seventy seven thousand eight hundred and sixty one dollars and 22 cents so that is a lot of money but i actually didn't pay that much um when you look into this thing so as you can see this was pretty much uh so this is the my last semester right so you got to look at this from all the way from the bottom here because it goes all the way back to uh, my freshman year so if you go to the bottom here all right so for these uh first uh charges here they were actually uh to take an exam uh, they called it the tsi i believe it's only in texas or something like that texas public colleges where you have to take an exam called the TSI and this is going to determine what math class and English class you're going to be put into when you get to your freshman year of college. All right, so this was at uh, the first semester. As you can see, one of the first things that show up in the charges here is going to be the orientation prepayment. So that's the freshman orientation. When you go to orientation, uh, they had um, uh, a $50 down payment or something like that. And uh, they charged like 100. They were just charging a lot of money but then after that, you see that everything else is going to be related to uh, the tuition bill, which is going to be the library resource charge. And you have learning resources, learning, you know, these are just random. I don't know what these are, but they are on there and they can look into a uh, medical service fee. And I've never used anything medical related on the university. So I don't know why I was getting charged that at $32, a recreation center. I actually use that. I would work out every time. And you also have student data management, you have student services fee, you have athletics fee for $240. And I believe that goes to uh, the sports teams um, at school, like, you know, the football team or anything like that. And uh, I don't know why we have to pay for that if you're not in sports and you have a publication charge. I don't know what that is. I, I have no clue what that is. And you also have a tech services instructor support freshman 
whatever that means is six dollars you know not 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 that much but still it's money and uh let's go to some of the big amounts here so this one is a transportation fee you know what the funny thing okay this is twenty dollars the funny thing about the transportation fee is my freshman year which is where these charges are coming from i was actually living at home with my parents and i would take the bus to go to school every single day so I don't know where this transportation fee is coming from because I actually had to pay for the bus that I was taking. We also have an undergraduate advising fee. Let me say something about college advisors. And uh, for some reason, it feels like they want you to stay longer at the college. So they usually make you take um, classes that you don't need. And then by the time you want to graduate, they're like, oh, you're supposed to take these classes. Like, why don't you tell me to? And um, that's not all of them. You know, I, I hate to say to generalize, but... Most of them, they don't know what they're doing. You know, it's just people that don't even have backgrounds in education or anything like that. So be careful when you have a college advisor. Make sure you double check with other ones or maybe your friends that are have the same major because they will definitely set you back. And uh, here comes the biggest one, tuition designated funds. So this is actually um, how much, uh, you know, the tuition cost for um, the University of Texas at San Antonio. But then if you see right above it, there's another tuition charge and it also says I'm a Texas resident, so I get charged $750. So if you're out of state, you'll probably be getting charged a lot more than $750, maybe double the amount. I'm not really sure. I've never looked at anyone that was out of state uh, to see how much they were getting charged, but you definitely get charged a lot more. So the actual tuition cost is actually this amount here. So which is pretty cool. So I'm going to be using uh, these numbers as well to kind of like give you guys a true value of tuition by itself. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and let me go ahead and just uh, copy these numbers here. So I'm going to grab this and I'm also going to grab, um, let's see, uh, this one right here. So these are the actual tuition amounts. And if we go up here, see that all these, all the negative amounts are the money that was paid off. As you can see here on the first one, I don't have any housing fees because I was living at home. Uh, and this was, and this is going to be the actual second semester of freshman year, which is going to be pretty much the same charges, maybe a slight increase on some of the uh, line items, but it's pretty much going to be the same thing here. And uh, once again, I want to go ahead and grab uh, the actual tuitions. So right here. All right, so now we go into my sophomore year, and you can see that, you know, a lot of these things were starting to get a little more expensive, and I was in the College of Business, so these are the charges here. The COB means College of Business, so they charge you, like, for, you know, just, like, too much things, too many things that they don't need to be charging. So, as you can see, you have that library resource. So that could be justified because I was using the library a lot, and you have a 120 fee for, what, Recreation Center. I was using that a lot, so that, that can justify that. And you go to student services. What the hell is student services? I feel like everything else they're charging here should be student services, right? Then why charge a separate student service fee? I have no idea. But um, if we go up here, there's another 244 athletics fee. You go on to, what is it, transportation fee. Once again, um, I was actually living on campus now as a resident assistant. I didn't need to, you know, use the campus transportation and I never used it. So I have no idea why they were charging. I made this and you also have, let's see here. So you have the tuition once again. It's pretty much the same, stayed the same from my first, um, freshman year, first semester of freshman year. So let me go ahead and grab this and I'll also grab uh, this as well. All right, so right above the tuition, you're going to see that there's housing rent, which is $3,322. So I actually didn't pay for that. Um, the housing department paid for that because I was a resident assistant or resident advisor. That is a lot of money to be paying out of pocket if you didn't have that job or if you had to pay out of pocket. Um, so you also have, if you look at, um, that's housing and rent. If you also look at the meal plan, which is um, $33, there's a bunch of charges that come with that. And it's also um, uh, 402. And if you, you know, add all these up, let me go ahead and add these. Just for the housing and meal, it's going to cost you 3757 as you can see on the bottom here, and $0.17. Cents. Uh, moving on to another semester, you're going to see that it's pretty much the same charges. And as you move up, as I moved up in the College of Business, you see these charges uh, start to go up, you know, $10, $60, $15, uh, 255 you got, what, 75 and uh, let's go ahead and go up here. It's pretty much the same thing. And you can see that, uh, what is it here? Student services, that's athletics fee, 180. Uh, you can see that this is the actual tuition. 
Uh, so this was what this is um uh, 1540 and I'm going to go ahead and grab um, the other amount, the in-state. So the in-state actually went down. It started off at 700 and something, and I kept going down. And as you can see, as I get closer to my last semester, the tuition starts to go up. So you're looking at uh, the actual uh, tuition, which is $3,232.44. And, and uh, the Texas resident tuition went up to $900. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and grab the sum of the tuition only, excluding everything else. So I'm just looking at the actual tuition and uh, the Texas resident fee. So I'm going to go ahead and do a sum formula here. And uh, we're just going to grab everything here, honestly. Um, enter. All right, so this is going to be 27297 Like I said before, the total is $77,861. Pretty insane if you look at this. But uh, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hopefully, you gained some knowledge from this that you can use to help yourself. But I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.